Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sasha. Um, please excuse my hair because I did overnight curls last night for the first time and it's looking a little bit busted. I have like naturally curly hair and um, it kind of came out okay like on the bottom, but the top is just still like curly and not looking good. So I'm just going to pin it back and we will get started. <laughs> I needed to get ready today and I did not want to get ready alone. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to film and <laughs> I'll get ready with you guys. I don't know if you guys are like this, but when I was a teenager, like still living in the house with my mom and my sister, um, we used to get ready together all the time. And that was like some of my favorite memories looking back. Like I hate that I took that for granted because just getting ready in the morning, like with your sister and chatting about life and school and work and all the things while you get ready it's just like i don't know some of the best memories i miss doing that so much so today instead of getting ready alone i was like i'll just get ready with you guys i got some new makeup which i'm really excited to try i got the new elia stick foundation which i'm really excited to get into i am saying a prayer that this is my color because picking out a color for this was very bizarre like when you look at the pictures that like the description and what the person looks like doesn't make any sense to me so hopefully um this will match okay so it's called the skin rewind complexion stick it says it's weightless firming smoothing it has peptides butterfly lavender and kelp extract i did get mine in the color 3w spruce this is what the packaging looks like Here's a little container. It has a, a dent in it. Can you see that? Is it supposed to be like that? I think it is supposed to be like, maybe it's for like your thumb. I mean, it's a good idea. Just at first I thought it was damaged. <laughs> I don't think it's damaged though. So it has Elia like up at the top. Can you see that in the foundation, which is Really cute, I've never seen that before. Let's see, there is 0.35 ounces, which if I'm not mistaken, like the Fenty um, stick is like 0.30 or 0.31. So I think this has a little bit more product, um, but it's supposed to be like a really nice natural looking finish. So I'm excited to try this. I have already prepped my face. Again, I did get this in the 3W spruce which i think is like the third color up because i am pasty white but sometimes that like white white color just doesn't look right on me okay i feel like that's gonna match okay it really doesn't have much of a scent whatsoever which i really appreciate because i am super sensitive to smells like like medically like make me sick <laughs> so i am very happy about that okay now i've got a little mustache going on here it's gonna go in with my beauty blender okay this dried down super fast i would not recommend putting the foundation all over your face because it's pretty hard to blend out So I did just log onto Sephora's website because I wanted to see exactly what the finish is supposed to be. And it's supposed to be a medium coverage and a natural finish. It does retail for $48. It is called a foundation and concealer complexion stick. So that explains to me why it's like a little bit more of like a thick consistency because I do feel like this would, it feels more like a concealer. It feels like it would be more of a concealer than a foundation texture and it does have that little um, cut out in it. So my, my bottle is not damaged, it's just the way it's supposed to be. As far as the finish goes right now, I would say it's light. I'm surprised they're calling it medium. I don't really feel like it is medium. I'm gonna put some more under my eyes now that I know it's supposed to be more of a concealer. I guess I didn't realize that when I purchased it, which is fine. Um, but I just wasn't expecting that consistency to be quite so thick. I 
feel like the color does match me really well. It does have a pretty natural looking finish. I feel like it really blurred my pores. It's sitting a little bit. Let me zoom you guys in here. Oop, hello. <laughs> um, I do feel like it's sitting a little bit up right here where I have some dryness under my eyes. It is extremely hard in my opinion to blend out. Um, you just have to know that going in that you're gonna have to swipe and do it very quickly or put it directly on a brush. This might be a better brush foundation than a sponge foundation. It does give a very natural finish. I feel like it has a little bit of a glow, but not too much. I do feel like it covered up my redness really well. Um, I mean, I would say if you have like some acne spots, like I have this down here, which I didn't really work too much on, but I could probably build it up little pimple down here and use it as a concealer yeah that actually works really well if you do have any like redness or pimples or anything like that I think this is a good foundation to cover them up I feel like it did that well it is settling a little bit into my smile line so I'm going to dab those out but I would definitely say this is a light coverage um I got as maybe medium up here on the cheeks, but right down here under my eye, I would say it's a very light coverage. I did pick up this concealer from Lancome, the all over concealer. I did get mine in the shade Ivory. I want to say I used this like a few years ago and loved it. Um, and honestly, totally forgot all about it. You know, as new products come out, you try new things and you forget about the lovely ones that you had before. <laughs> I love the Natasha Denona concealer. I just cannot handle the fragrance from it. It is so, so beautiful. So if you're looking for one, that's a great, great option um, if you can handle the smell okay. So here is a little doe foot applicator it's pretty little packaging like i said i don't think this is anything new um this is actually a good color for me it looks like Ooh. okay it's not bad it's definitely not pleasant the smell um it kind of smells like paint i don't like that it's mostly like the synthetic fragrance that really gets to me but um this one isn't too bad it's a definitely a paint smell. So I like that. I don't feel like it gave too much coverage. I am still seeing quite a bit of red. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more and see how that looks. It's really blending in to the foundation, almost like the exact same color. <laughs> not as good as the Natasha Denona concealer in my opinion it's still nice I want to wear it a little bit longer a little bit more and see how it wears throughout the day I mean it's pretty I feel like it gave me some radiance under my eye which looks good it covered up my redness um, it is already like creasing in my under eye though so I do want to go ahead and set that real quick going in with the Huda Beauty Easy Bake and Snatch and just my little Spongeroo here. I'm using this in the color Cupcake. I really like this stuff. It sets my makeup so well and it looks so pretty. See how good that looks now? There's just something about this powder that I just think is so nice. So how have you guys been? I am so excited for spring. <laughs> like get me out of the winter time. I'm so sick of it. It was so nice to get out. Yesterday, I went to TJ Maxx with my daughter, and oh, it's just so nice to get out and not feel like I have to wear 16 coats, and same with her. You guys know what it's like to put a kid in a carriage with the boots on, and then you can't get him out. <laughs> Such a pain in the neck. So, I am so looking forward to speaking on oh, my words. Speaking of TJ Maxx, <laughs> yesterday. So, my daughter, oh my gosh, she's so funny. She's two, if you don't know. Her name is Lucy, and she has just... The craziest, goofiest little girl. She is like so sweet and caring though. Like she cares so much about everyone and everything. Make sure everybody's okay. And um, I know I've explained a little bit before, but like I have some breathing issues. 
<laughs> and so whenever like I have these episodes of breathing, it throws me into a panic attack and I usually end up like crying and like gasping for air. And so my husband is always like, okay, Sasha, like take a deep breath, take a deep breath. So she associates like distress with breathing. <laughs> which I feel so bad, but it's hard like in the moment to like control yourself and like, you know, get yourself away from your kids so they don't see that. Well, yesterday we're in TJ Maxx and this baby, I don't know, she's probably under six months. She sounded like a little, little baby. And she's in like a few aisles over and she's crying. And Lucy starts like shouting across the aisles. <laughs> and she's like, baby, it's okay. Deep breaths, baby, deep breaths. <laughs> It was so cute. Oh my gosh. Everyone's like looking at me and I'm like, I, I don't, I don't, I can't explain this to you. <laughs> but she associates taking a deep breath with, you know, being okay and crying. Oh my gosh. It was just, it's the cutest thing. She's so sweet. She's going to grow up and be a, like a nurse or a doctor or something. She just cares so much about everybody. Um, I'm going to go in with the NARS um, bronzing cream. I have this in Laguna too. This is like a little bit dry because my daughter likes to play in it. <laughs> I have come into the bathroom and seen this open sitting there more times than I can count. And it's very frustrating because it's an expensive little product, but I absolutely love it. I'll repurchase it again and again. I just went in way too much on that side. We're going to have to go to Blending Town. I am filming another video right after this. Um, that's why I needed to do my makeup. And I ran to Target the other night, which is, pff, I almost never get out by myself. <laughs> so I went to Target and I tried on some of their new spring clothes and I filmed it, but I need to film like the voiceover part of it um, because there were so many people, y'all. Like I am not talking to myself in a dressing room. Uh, I felt so bad. The girl there like, there must have been like a million people trying on clothes that day because there was literally more clothes in the dressing room than I swear was out on the shelves. She looked so overwhelmed. I felt so bad. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't imagine. And I overheard like some of the employees talking about how horrendous working the Target fitting rooms is. I don't know. I've never had to work in like clothing. Most of my history of working is like banking and insurance, um, except for when I worked at Sephora and y'all, Sephora was the best job. I don't know how it is now. I also, I worked at the one in JCPenney, um, so I know it's very different. I've heard the ones like the actual Sephora, like the freestanding Sephoras are much better, but I worked at the JCPenney Sephora and y'all, that team, they had me crying every single day, like in a good way, like laughing till I cried. Like we were the best. As this was like over 10 years ago. What is it like? Probably like 12 years ago now that I worked there and we still like stay in touch. And oh my gosh, those girls are just the freaking best. And I loved like being able to play with makeup all the time. And now like looking back at the time, I didn't care about like germs and stuff. And we'd like try on the lipsticks and everything else. <laughs> Now, I would not touch it. I think that's absolutely disgusting. Um, but at the time, we did not care. We had so much fun doing it. I do. I miss that job. Like, out of all my jobs, like, that was that was the best. All right, now I'm going to go in with my absolute favorite blush of all time, the Laura Mercier color in Fresco. I know this color doesn't look like much, but it is so beautiful and such like, a natural, like, nude neutral almost peachy kind of shimmery undertone and it's so beautiful i absolutely love it i am so tempted to get the new um house labs blushes what are the names of them like fire fire something rose something i don't know i can't remember but i just saw somebody try them on and i was like i need those in my life right now why are they so expensive <laughs> I am totally gonna pick them up though, I don't care. I'm a blush junkie. I absolutely love blush, all the colors, but this is like my ride or die. I go back to this one every single time. Y'all, my smile lines are are smiling. They're liney. <laughs> um, 
this foundation just keeps on settling right into them and I don't love that. All right, I'm gonna quickly do my brows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I get mine in the color Taupe. My brows are the bane of my existence, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on and I'll be right back. Okay, I finished my brows. I scooted you guys up a little bit because I realized that you guys have been falling. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Cutting off the top of my head. Probably like when I zoomed you in and out. I'm just gonna set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I love this stuff. I keep coming back to it no matter what else I try. I'm gonna go in with the Patrick Ta, what is this called? The Dimension 3 palette. This is my absolute favorite ride or die palette. It has been for literally months. Um, it just has so many beautiful colors and it blends so easily. And I don't really stray much from the neutrals just because it matches everything and I'd rather wear a bold lip than a bold eye. And I can wear whatever color lip I want with whatever nude color. <laughs> I'm going to go in, okay, so I usually go in with all of the dark colors. Today I wanna to try more of the warm tones. I usually stay away from them, but I don't know what flatters my eyes better. Like, I always thought it was the neutral, cooler tones, but lately I've been seeing um, People with hazel eyes go in with like really warm colors and it looks beautiful. So I'm, I'm trying to branch out. You know, you get comfortable with something and you just keep on. Well, I'm gonna go in with, I think I'm gonna go in with this color right here. I'll put it in all over my lid. It's like a, it's like a nice brick shade. to let me know who are your favorite youtubers to watch that have good vlogs the majority of what i watch are people who just like vlog their life who are like happy and i don't know i just i love watching people like that um and i have like my set like three but i'm like there's gotta be other ones out there like who are the people you love that are just like happy and joyous like jenica and annika i freaking love their channel if you don't watch them Go watch them. They are just so cute. They are like the best mother-daughter duo. She had her daughter when she was 14. And um, so the mom is my age, but she's with, she has a 14 year old. And I just think the dynamic is the sweetest thing. I hope I have that type of relationship when my daughter is older, cause they are just so cute. Now I'm just gonna go in and blend it all out. I don't know, what do you guys think? It's pretty, it is pretty. I just, I have to get used to seeing myself in all these warm tones. If you're so used to the neutrals, it's it's not easy seeing yourself in, in warm tones. All right, I'm gonna go in with the Lancome Waterproof Eyeliner in Bronze Rich. I absolutely love just going in with browns, browns, browns. As you guys know, it's like really trendy right now to be using everything brown. <laughs> and I just got the, um, well, I'll get into that, but the Tower 28 mascara in the brown color, and I am loving it. I always thought I'd be a black mascara girl, and I just love the brown. I just think it adds so much like warmth um, and natural beauty then the black looks really harsh on my skin and I didn't really think that way until I saw the brown. So I really, really like it. Then I just go in and just kind of buff out the eyeliner. So not buff out, smudge out. I wish I could show you guys the mirror I'm using right now. It is so busted. My mic is sitting on it, so I don't want to make a, a mess, but um, it's, it's completely like shattered. I bought it and the day I bought it home, my daughter picked it up and shattered half of it. So there's only like this much mirror up in the corner of this big round mirror that I'm trying to see in. So sorry if it looks weird. Now I'm gonna go in with that Tower 28 mascara in the color Drift. Like I said, I love this mascara. I'm trying to think, I think it was Jamie Page that got me interested in this mascara because she has darker eyes and she was saying that she was obsessing over it. 
So I had to try it and I would agree that it is absolutely amazing if you are looking for something a little more neutral. This is a great option for every day. It gives amazing length and volume. It does not flake. I am like the flakiest. Like if somebody says something doesn't flake, you can guarantee it'll flake on me. Drives me absolutely nuts. Um, but this one does not flake whatsoever. I am obsessed with it. I was loving the Rare Beauty Mascara. I don't know what it is, but my eyes, and really my eyes and my skin and everything has really just started reacting to makeup in general. Like my eyes started getting so puffy when I'd wear that mascara. You guys know the Kosas foundation has been like my ride or die since the beginning of time. And I started getting rashes all around my eyes, all down my jawline. And I could not for the life of me figure out why because I've used that mask, not that mascara, I've used that foundation for literally years and I've never had an issue. And then all of a sudden I was breaking on rash and I was like, it must be like eczema from, I don't know, the drier weather or something. Um, but yeah, I stopped using that foundation and sure enough, it all went away. And so I put it on again and it all came back and I was like, okay, maybe it's just foundation in general. But then I ended up um, looking up online to see if anybody else was having reactions. And I guess because they don't use preservatives because it's like a vegan or they don't use much preservatives. I'm not sure how much they use. It molds quickly. And so people are complaining that they're breaking out in rash from there being mold in their bottle. And I was like, I know I have a mold issue. Like I can walk into a building and immediately tell you if there's mold in there or not. Um, I am so sensitive to it. So I was like, okay, it only makes sense that this is what's happening to me. Um, I am gonna go in with the, what is this? Rare Beauty Lip Liner in Wise. Love this color if you are a pale princess like i am then this is a great like neutral kind of chocolatey brown um and then let's go in with i just picked this up um at sephora in like one of those what is it called like the favorite bags or something where they have like all the lipsticks in one and you get it from a good deal it's the charlotte tilbury pillow talk in two medium it is such a gorgeous gorgeous color how stunning this color is. I am absolutely obsessed with it. It's so beautiful. It's just dark enough. It's kind of vampy, but it's still like perfect for every day. I just think it looks so good. So the foundation is really looking pretty. I just, you guys can see it is in my smile lines again. I have already fixed that twice. I feel like when you have a foundation that really accentuates your smile lines, it really makes you age. <laughs> Because I feel like that's one of the things that happens like as you age is you get those smile lines So when you are emphasized like it's almost giving me like double smile line. Can you see that? I don't know. I don't like that. Um, I Don't know I like the rest of it looks really really pretty though. I think it looks really natural It matches my skin tone. Well, I feel like it covered up my pores. Well, it is still looking like it's sitting a little bit up through here um, but my smile lines are gonna drive me absolutely bonkers. I don't like, it's worse, it's it's bad enough when it's here, it's worse when it's like up here though too. I can't honestly say I've ever had a foundation that's settled up in these smile lines. I would tend to think it's because the foundation is so thick. It is definitely more of like a concealer. It almost reminds me of like a paint pot concealer, like that thick, thick, creamy texture. Um, I don't love it. It does look pretty though. So I guess it kind of is up to you guys whether you have smile lines, you don't have smile lines you're worried about. Um, I think it would look okay. I will leave down in the description box down below how it wears throughout the day. I am anxious to see if it continues to settle, if it warms up to my skin, if it oxidizes, because right now it looks really good. I really like it. So I will keep you guys 
posted. I will have everything I use today linked down in the description box down below. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.